Heavenly Father puts His effort into growing us, not into making us eat sumptuous food and living affluently. God in heaven, who we call our Father, exerts energy to develop us, not to have us eat fancy food and make lots of money to boast. The reason to raise us well is so that we can do a great deed for society, do great worthwhile work for society and return back to Him. God expends energy to raise you well, not to have you covet fortune. God can give you treasures anytime and abilities anytime but only to those who have developed themselves. These people misuse this wealth and upset the world order, and so God takes it away. If they try not to lose the wealth, when God tries to take away by holding on to wealth tightly, then He will even break your fingers to take it away. God will have you suffer sickness to have you let go of greed so that you will release wealth. I said that certain people have specific roles. There is this person who is supposed to be studying but doesn't realize that it is a lesson. Instead, he complains and blames others. If he keeps complaining that it's difficult and grumbles, then a bigger lesson will come his way. That is why people keep facing hardships. There is a definite reason why such difficulty comes. Therefore, one must search for the cause. When suffering comes, there is a sure reason why that is so. You must search for the answer within that suffering. There is absolutely no way with not even 0.1 millimeter of error that someone faces hardship without having lived an incorrect life. Grand nature is teaching you that the difficulty you suffer is because you are living incorrectly. Let's say that you are faced with hardship but blame someone else. For example, say you were defrauded. You blame and criticize that swindler. If the cheater can get away with the fraud, then he has succeeded. He was successful in the project to swindle. He is happy. Then who is frustrated? Yes, you who were defrauded are upset. Then who is the patient? Yes, you who were deceived is the patient. You are the patient because you have lived life incorrectly. Therefore, you are suffering from, from pain. Then from where did suffering come? This is what we need to search for. If you hold on to wealth without having developed yourself, then you will lose it to someone who covets it. Why? Because you lack the energy level. When each person gains knowledge, they are developing the energy level of their soul. When people are learning something, they are adding energy to their souls. This is called the daily nutrition. Attaining knowledge is called daily nutrition and consuming food is for the maintenance of the physical body. There was a time on earth when spiritual workers were taught about daily nutrition a few thousand years ago. People interpreted it with their understanding at that time and called daily nutrition daily bread. They equated it to meat and food. So they called it daily bread, and therefore food 
and nutrition for soul got confused. We humans have a physical body, which is an animal body. We have a physical body and soul. We use the term ingan, which means in between, to signify that we are not gods or animals, but humans. Why do humans live? There is this thing called soul. People in the world should know about the soul at this time. Do you all accept the fact that there is such a thing as a soul? If you accept the existence of a soul, please not like this. Do you agree that there is a soul? Okay, many of you acknowledge. So, there is this thing called soul, and soul is non-physical energy. This physical body is material energy. In great nature, there are physical energy and non-physical energy. In nature, there are things that you can see here and not able to see, but regardless, everything in nature is material energy. Everything is a physical matter. Depending on the environment, the matter can transform and have a different function, but everything in nature exists as matter. Even if you don't perceive visually, it is still matter. Within this space, even though we don't see anything, there is a matter existing in this space. How about our soul? The soul is a non-physical energy. In nature, there exist only two types of energy, non-physical energy and physical matter energy. This soul is what makes you, you. Physical matter is not you, but a tool used by the soul. The human body is a tool received by the soul to use as a tool. The soul comes to three-dimensional world Earth to develop the soul and to expand the energy level of the soul. Our souls live in this world to grow our souls using the physical body as a tool. The reason for living in this world is not to make lots of money, but for the soul to grow. When the soul develops and is full, it can use all the power in nature. The soul, which is you, can manage the cosmos and utilize all the power in nature. But your energy level of soul is too weak. If the soul is weak, then it will have a hard time managing anything in the world. If your soul is weak, then you will be agitated by someone else's words. If a certain person hears someone else's logic or ideology and is agitated from it, then he is unable to live his life but lives dragged by others. So living as such, you live a difficult life. Whereas some people seek out what they need in life, they grow and live a comfortable life. That is why you have to develop yourself and acquire the needed knowledge in this time period. Because we will be living in the future, we need the knowledge necessary to live in the future. How can you study books written 3,000 years ago and say that it is knowledge, absorb it, and live by it today? 
what they wrote in the book at that time says that you have to live a kind-hearted life. If someone slaps your face on the right, turn the other cheek for the left. This is what they wrote back then. How should you live nowadays? If you are slapped on the right, you need to protect the left cheek from being hit again, like this. If you are slapped on the right and foolishly show your left cheek to be slapped, then you are living a stupid life. Living in an intelligent society where the energy level is very high can only be difficult for such a foolish person.